Yo, what is up world? Mighty Beeps here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is so good to see you guys. This week's vlog, we're going to be talking about Situations, a multi-camera improv show that I got a chance to work on back in college at film school five years ago. It's weird to think. Time sure does fly. But I thought I would share my experience working on this show at film school, what it was like, how much fun it was, how hard it was. And I thought it would be a really cool idea to share some of my experiences going to film school. I know some of you may be on the fence about going to film school or maybe think film school isn't necessary. So this is a episode where I can talk to you guys about my experience, maybe shed some light on film school. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Go ahead and roll that intro and I'll see you guys soon. So it's gone. All right, so like I said, I wanna to talk to you guys about my experiences going to film school. It was a really fun time and I learned so much from going to film school. I met a lot of my friends as well. It was just a really awesome time for me personally. But today I wanna to share with you guys my experiences with working on this show called Situations. Hello America and welcome to our Halloween special on Situation where you at home can laugh with us while our guests are put into crazy situation and use your imagination to handle whatever is thrown at them. I'm your host, Mary. Let's laugh out loud. It was a show that I produced and I also co-wrote the show. It was actually my idea when I had pitched it to my professor and the entire class. It's really cool that I had an idea that other classmates actually wanted to work on and then having your professor sign off on it was just a really cool feeling at the time. So a little bit about the show, Situations is a improv show where it really emphasizes on the actors to go out and improv scenarios that me and my team came up with. So they're not really the best situations for our actors, for our improv actors to be in. Also, I came up with the logo and the intro. It was really cool and really fun at the time to make this intro and to make the logo I thought it was a really cool thing. I just took some clips from another movie that I liked. I think it was Shallow Hal at the time, uh, but it was a really interesting intro to me and making that logo was really fun. It was the first time I had ever made a logo in Photoshop. So I actually had to learn some new skills in Photoshop just to work on this project at film school. And so, like I said, this show really predicates itself on the actors. This was the first time me and all of my other friends had went to go cast actors. It was our first time ever setting up auditions for actors. We went to a place called CAST. If you're familiar with the LA area and maybe the casting audition houses, CAST is one of the really popular ones. It's very simple. It's very cheap to get in to be able to audition actors. So it was a really cool experience being able to go into these casting audition places and see actors and meet actors and see them act and perform for a role that you co-wrote or that you worked on. So we had met a lot of people at CAST and it was just a really cool experience being able to see and meet actors who were all trained actors at that. So it was really interesting because before then I really didn't have any experience at all with actors. So being able to go through that entire experience was something that I think film school can really teach you and really walk you through so that you can get familiar with how auditions go and the steps that you have to go through to set up the audition. All right, so by now you can tell this show was shot in three by five letterbox. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's probably because you didn't grow up watching shows three by five in a little box here. Let me let me just turn this into a three by five. Check it out. See? Okay, so now it's a little box, right? This is three by five letterbox. The cameras that we were using at school were super old and I wanna say they were made by like Hitachi. If it's not Hitachi, if it's not that, I have no idea what it was, but they were super old cameras. And I remember saying to myself, I had just bought the Sony A7S and the camera can actually film in 4K, but the cameras that we were using could only film 720p at three by five letterbox. Yeah, it's really weird. At the time, I thought it was really weird that we were using cameras that were so old and I had just bought this super cool new fancy camera. But looking back at it, I think it's really cool that I got a chance to learn how to film in three by five letterbox. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Okay, cool. So working on this show, I really got a chance to learn what live switching was all about. And if you're familiar with broadcast TV, you know that some shows, not all the shows, actually use multi-cameras, like more than one camera, to film the show. 
So it was really interesting to be able to set up. I think we had like four or three cameras. I don't quite remember. But in a multi-camera show, they are all filming at one time. So the director and the technical director, they were upstairs in the master control room at CSUN and they were actually telling which cameras to take so that you as the viewer could see one angle versus another angle so that we're seeing many different angles all at one time. So it's a lot different than having a single camera operated show, meaning you're only using one camera to film the entire show or the scene. So if you think about it as an actor, you have one camera in front of you like I do right here. If I'm going through a scene, I have to go through that entire scene one full time at this camera angle and then switch to another camera angle and go through the same exact lines with the same exact emotions, feelings, hand movements, all that crazy stuff. So that is the advantage of having a multi-camera show. You don't have to worry about filming one scene, one line over and over and over again to have that continuity. Working on situations was a really fun experience. Again, this was my first time ever working on a show that was multi-camera. It was different, it was fun, but it really got me thinking, I don't like multi-camera shows. I don't like the pressure, the stress of having to switch cameras all of the time as the show is rolling. For me, I was just way too stressed out and I really felt like I didn't have as much control over the lighting, over the camera work, and over just the overall feel, the tone, the language of the cinematography. So not only did we have to film, write, and come up with this entire show, we also had to build the set that you see, the walls that are back there. We had to build flats, which are just really big, light, movable walls that are used on sets. So you can build and paint the walls whatever color you wanted to. For us, we had this whole Halloween theme and it was actually really cool because it was during Halloween, so it all kind of just fit the tone of what was going on at the time. So we had to paint the walls, we had to get all of those cobwebs, which actually I got from my aunt's house at the time because I was living with them, so I just took them from home. Some of the tombstones that you see are from my uncle's house and also some of the skulls that you see on the wall as well. So I got a chance to just take some of the things that I have from home and use them on the show. As a filmmaker, you can probably relate to using all of the resources around you to help execute your vision, your show, your movie, whatever it is that you're working on. So this being my second semester at CSUN, I remember it being a really fun time. Everything was so new, so different, and it was coming at me really fast, so I just had to hold on for dear life. And I made it through this entire project, making brand new friends, all of the actors that you see on the frame are actually all really cool people, but just getting a chance to meet actors who are all passionate about telling stories was a really cool and fun thing for me at the time. So it just helped build me as a filmmaker. And I think film school really predicates itself on networking and meeting new people who share the same vision, who share the same goal as you as a filmmaker. So for me, that really helped being in a safe environment where everyone was really focused on filmmaking, getting better at telling a story, and just wanting to network and collaborate. So I'm interested, what are your thoughts on film school? Do you think it is necessary? Do you think it is a must for filmmakers? Do you think that you have to go to film school to be successful in the film industry? Or do you think that you can skip film school and skip the 20, 30, 40, 50, 100,000 dollars of debt that you may or may not be in from going to film school and just learn on your own, watching YouTube, collaborating, meeting new friends, building upon project, upon project until it just gets so big that you finally get that call or you finally get that message. For me, it was absolutely necessary and I would totally do it all over again if I had the choice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. You know what to do if you did, go ahead and do a super jump on that like button down below and also get subscribed to the YouTube channel because every Wednesday is a brand new vlog. I'm Matt Abid, the cinematographer and I'll see you guys in seven days. Peace.